Hello everyone, thank you guys for checking out today's video. Today's video request is how to use Canva for brochure or how you can create brochure in Canva. So let's get started and let's learn how to do it. Okay, depending on what size you'd like your brochure to be, you can go to custom size and put your desired dimensions here and choose your desired unit. Once you do that, click on create new design so that you'll be taken to the editing page or Canva's editor. Well, if you'd like to see some templates first, then that's also okay. You can go to the search bar and type in brochure. And then from the drop down, you can click on see all. So this is the um, templates page. Feel free to choose any template you want to use. You can scroll down and select the templates that you think looks nice or you think looks close to what you envision or to what you have in mind. But if you have a specific template in mind, you can also use that specific keyword. So go to the search bar right over here. And if you're um, creating a specific type of brochure, say for example, um, fashion brochure you can just type that there and then hit enter results will load up um, and results related to your keyword will show up over here let's try another one and here we are okay we're gonna try to select one to serve as our example for today's video I think this one looks really lovely, so we're going to click on it and we're going to click on customize this template. It's going to take um, a couple of seconds for the editor to load up, so let's wait for it. And so here we are. In case you want to change your template, you can always go to the side panel over here. You'll see templates related to the one you chose. You can also use the search bar to Look for templates, specific templates. Okay, so we're going to start editing. You can actually edit your brochure however you want to. You can even start from scratch if you want to. Um, yeah, for the uh, background color, if you want to change it, you can just click on an empty area on your template and then go to the color button over here choose any color you like you can use solid colors or gradient colors it's all up to you and for the text i think it's also quite important you can input whatever text you want to put here or you can even use two different kinds of text so let me show you what i mean I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to change this text's font by going to this font button over here and then I'm going to change it to to a handwriting font so let's choose and I'm going to try to zoom it in And put it somewhere over here I guess all right I think that looks lovely so yeah you can do something like that and if you like you can also change the color of your text so go to this button over here um, the color button and then change it to whatever color you'd like your text to be I think that looks lovely so I'm gonna keep it that way and if you like, you can also even add text effects to your, well, texts. So to do that, just go to the effects button, which is right over here. And choose from any effects you want to apply to your text. You can even curve it if you want to. And you can adjust the intensity of your curve by adjusting this slider button here. But I'm not going to be doing that. 
I think I'm happy with just this simple and plain um, text that I have here. So we're going to keep it that way. And for the photos, you can also use your own photos. You can go to the upload section. If you haven't uploaded your photos yet, then click on upload files. Navigate to the location where your files are located. And then in order to upload them, you're going to select them or highlight them. If you want to upload multiple files at the same time, then long press the control button on your keyboard and then keep on clicking or highlighting the other files you want to upload. Then click on upload. They'll be uploaded right over here. I don't have any photos I want to use. So to show you an example, I'm just going to go to the element section. So I'm going to try to type in here, um, beauty and go to photos. And perhaps I'm going to, um, choose this. So in order to place your photo within a frame, you can just drag it. And yeah, it'll be inserted over there. And if you want to adjust the placement of your photo, double click on it and adjust its position like that. Click on done once you're done. In case you don't really like the frame, then you can just go to the search button here and type in frame. And then click on see all. And you'll be able to find frames over here. Now, if you're looking for a specific frame, just make sure to delete the keyword, but do not press this X button. If you do, you'll be routed to the um, element homepage or yeah, if you know what I mean. But you can always go to frames again, just type in frames and click on see all or go to the frames category right over here. It's after the audio category. And if you're looking for a specific type of frame, say, for example, um, picture frame, hit enter. And here you'll be able to see some examples. Let's try Polaroid. And here you go. And in case you want to add decorative elements, you can also do the same thing type down whatever it is you're looking for in the search bar and then you can go to graphics if you're looking for graphic elements or photos if you're looking for photo elements you'll be able to find lots of things you can choose from so yeah I guess I'm gonna stick with this one for now mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can change the layout of your design however you want to. And you can keep on adding elements or replacing elements until you're happy with your design. And if you're trying to create a back-to-back -back brochure, then you can also design another page. So you could have it printed behind your first page. And, yeah, we're going to pretend that we finally finished designing our brochure here so i'm not going to be redesigning this we're just going to pretend that we've finished designing it so in that case you're going to be ready to upload your brochure so go to the share button to do that and go to download here you can select whatever file type you'd like your design to be saved as if you want to have it printed, then according to Canva, the best option for printing is to choose the PDF print format. So we're going to choose that one in today's video. We also have other download settings here. So make sure to check that according to make sure to check that and tweak them according to your preferences. Select the number of pages you want to include. And for the color profile, you have two options, RGB, which is best for digital use, and CMYK, which is best for professional printing. If you want to have your design printed, then I guess this is the way to go, CMYK. This is unfortunately only available for Canva Pro 
um, Canva Pro or for those with a Canva Pro subscription. If you don't, that's okay. You can sign up for a free trial, which is good for 30 days. And once everything's all set, then click on download. And if you like, you can actually have your brochure professionally printed for you by Canva. So to do that, uh, you can click on order prints over here, or you can go to the share button, click on print your design, and select a format here, and then proceed to inputting your um, billing details and payment methods and things like that. So I guess that's it for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you guys so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You guys have a great day.